Hey, Virgie, Virgie. Hey, Virgos. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Ruth. Welcome back to another series. And this one is um, Virgo Sun with Pisces Rising. This is what they told me to do, so that's what I'm doing. And your question is, why you don't care? I don't know what they're talking about. We're finna see. Okay. Why you don't care, Virgo? So let's see. What they want to say, I'm going to do the tarot right quick. Okay. Gotcha. I hear them every time I see them. Strength, Leo, inner strength, confirmation with yourself or other people. Hmm, okay. Because you're strong inside. And I don't know what people weak. You got the strength to do what you need to do. Inner strength. Confirmation with yourself or other people. Confrontation with yourself. Okay. So you feel people are not strong enough or people around you. They don't, they're not on your level. Is that what you trying to say? Okay, let's see. Let's see what the next one is. The magician have uh okay. Mercury, air, warlock, map, scientist, alchemy. Know how elements work. The magician. Element of surprise, good or bad. So this normally is the uh, same thing. Look at that. So it was upside down. So what that means, that means you don't have the strength. Don't feel the inner strength. To change things, you don't know your power. This about you, or they don't know their power. Okay. Hmm. Still confused. It's about one or the other. You don't know who you are or what you're capable capable of. You don't have the strength for it, or people don't. Let's see. Let's go on. King of Swords. Man over 25 years. Brown eyes and brown hair. Cold, abusive, demands respect. A Capricorn or Aquarius. So with somebody in your life who cold and abusive? Or oh, this you. You demand respect. Because people don't know what they're doing. And they don't have no strength, inner strength, or oh, that's you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Nine of Pentacles, Second Deacon, Virgo, Mercury, Venus. Peace of mind, contentment. Okay, is that what you want? You just want peace? You want people to leave you alone? Is that what that is? Stop bothering you? That's why you're being cold and abusive? Maybe it was abusive to you? You know, you're getting your strength back, maybe? And maybe, maybe this one is, uh... Maybe people been using different things against you. Doing things to you. Controlling you some, by some way. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, let's see what second deacon Virgo is. Okay. Okay. Let's see. The first deacon. Oh, second deacon. My fault. The second deacon Virgo is ruled by Saturn 
and this Capricorn deacon. The intimidating energy of Saturn and Capricorn relieves some of the potential analyst paralysis of Virgo and encourages them to take action to create structure that give them material security. They tend to be overachievers, seeking to keep building and making money and are in investors more than spenders because that gives them the sense of achievement they need. They can also throw, throw in the towel on some projects as if they feel they are failing. They are very responsible and great managers, but their drive to achieve can mean they miss out on the lighter and more fun side of life. Okay, so we was talking about this one said about the Capricorn. Okay, so what do you seem like you don't feel like um, you can achieve it? You throwing in the towel can't do something you want this peace and happiness peace of mind but you're not getting it you're overthinking things being an overachiever being working too hard or thinking too hard uh, it gives them a sense of achievement they need to so throw in the towel on some projects if they feel they are failing always doubting yourself Feel like you can't achieve this, so that makes you what? Cold hearted and you know, trying to keep your strength or losing your strength. I don't know, Virgo. Hmm. Let me do one more card. This was uh, reverse, also. King of Pentacles, Aries, Taurus, man over 25 years, dark eyes dark hair business arrogant powerful so it's upside down so it's i guess it's what it's saying you feel like you can't accomplish your goals it's a big business it's a person that's going to do what they need to do they're going to get their pinnacles up bosses aries pinnacles taurus so you feel like you can't achieve what you need to achieve some people are blocking you you know, from they're messing with your peace, your peace of mind, contentment. Okay, is it psychological? Is it inside your mind? Is it people? Is it a Leo? Is it a Cappy? Okay. Hmm, okay. Let's see what else. Let's see if we can go a little farther. Okay. make you don't care, huh? Questioning what you do, maybe. Your actions. But like, I don't know. Magic. Your birth, creation, sky, sun, moon, stars, universe. When you eat the right foods, stay, they stay, they stay makes you heal healthy the waste comes out of you magic so somebody using magic on you making you feel this way hmm interesting i see insecure of my looks feel like damaged goods are used goods so people have been making you feel like this Trying to keep your strength and be peaceful and your peace of mind, but you can't because people keep coming at you the wrong way and trying to, I guess, make you feel bad or if you're doing it to yourself because this is a Virgo, Virgo um, second deacon that said on the card. So it says you, uh, they're always throwing a towel on some projects if they feel they are failing. 
They are very responsible and great managers, but their drive to achieve can mean they miss out on a lighter and more fun side of life. So you're not having no fun. You're thinking too much. You're feeling, putting your own self down. Self-sabotage, is this what this is, Virgie? Or is somebody making you feel that way? Are you afraid to travel? Why? Because one of them was like, you stand. What is that other one I've seen? Oh, is it this one? Stand in a hermit mode. I think that's one of them I was trying to say. Hmm. Yeah, so you don't want to travel, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to go around people, visit. Why? Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe we'll make some uh, more sense of it, Virgie. Let's see. Disease, sexual or other. So you're sick. Is that what the problem is? And you feel like you can't get well from the sickness? You don't feel like you can, uh, where's the alchemy card? Um, yeah. You feel like there's no hope? There's always hope. There's all kind of ways. There's a cure for everything. Okay? Don't think that. You can get well anything sexual or other there's plenty um remedies and natural remedies for sexual herbalists for sexual disease don't be embarrassed to go and check that out you know whatever's wrong with you flirty my dad is my aunt's husband so some uh disrespect in the family People messing around with each other. Uh, finding out your parents ain't your parents or family member, your dad or your mom or something like that. A lot of incense, a lot of flirting going on, a lot of, you know, ungod, unethical, un, just disrespectful stuff. Won't let you go and do things on your own, jealous of your long time, no trust, confused about sexuality, been molested or something, made you um, confused about that, and they won't let you talk about it, are you scared to talk about it, or maybe did you do this to somebody, won't let you go and do things on your own. Jealous of you a long time. No trust. Are you doing this to somebody? Somebody doing this to you? You don't trust nobody? You won't let the person move around? Are you doing it to you? I don't know, Bert. Let's see. Let's go to these. Okay. And then we got the mountain. Let's see what it's talking about. Okay. The coffin, the death of a situation, a possibly illness, not an entirely negative part, difficult but not insurmountable. A weight is implied. Okay. So maybe the situation over, maybe you got out of it. But illness, don't stay sick. Go get some help. I know it might be difficult, but call. Ask somebody to come help you. 
so let's see what else they're talking about with the dead the dead card this is the card feared by almost everyone however it really indicates stagnant stagnant situations more than physical death if it falls beside your own first or central part it speaks of waiting time to be endured perhaps you must allow things to develop or even consciously be patient if it's prominent in several readings you may have to change your way of doing things or approach another goal okay let's see the goal is the mountain generally generally this card indicates that you have undertaken something that would try your patience you alone can decide whether a situation in love work for example has run its course yeah you alone know your situation what's going on what you need to do about it can't stay and hide away from everybody the world ain't gonna change you gotta make a change in your circle the mountains foreign affairs are something important a big possibly an obstacle to be climbed over yeah you gotta get over this so you can travel okay let's see what else they're talking about get out of that hermit mode like the bear this can simply represent something big or, or something rock solid it is also concerned with foreign affairs and most often indicates a person from abroad in some circumstances it, it concerns an obstacle to surmount yeah so you have to get over whatever this is um let's see i'm trying to see what else i might say this is a strong card and bodies well unless accompanied by um, i always read it as a relevant to important affairs things you need to take care of you know People you need to talk to, apologize to, they apologize to you. You know, you need to be on your goal and your path as well. You came here for a reason. You can't stay stuck, Virgie. Okay. Let's do these right here. Gotta face it. We all gotta face it, good or bad. Oh, shoot. Face your fears, face people, face everything. Yeah, it can be hard. Okay, let's see. Stay over there with that negativity. That's what you're going to have to tell them. Okay? People that's in your life that may be doing this, I have and I want some someone to treat me kind. Keep saying it into existence, okay? Karma. Yeah, people get their karma. Everybody gets it, good or bad. Okay? Yeah, they will. I got another empty card, okay? Pull another one, Perky. I am a diva. Okay? Hello, man or woman. And if you confuse your sexuality, um... Uh... Oh, shoot, I'll put this together. Hey, be you. You know? Whatever you like, you like. Don't let nobody tell you differently. You like both ways? Tell people you like both ways. Forget what anybody else is talking about. You gotta make yourself happy. Happy. Make yourself happy and healthy. That's the main two things. Keeping your peace of mind. Keeping your peace of mind is very important. Okay? Don't let nobody take that from you. Do what you got to do. You know, don't hurt anybody. But, but if they trying to hurt you, you got to defend yourself. You're going to do a shock of wisdom card. Oh, they got two for you, Virgin. First one is six chakra, third eye chakra, knowledge. I recognize that a great deal of knowledge and information comes to me in the form of intuition, such as uh, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and hypersensitive feelings. I use my intellect combined with my intuition to 
deal, deal, deal into circumstances from philosoph philosophical and spiritual viewpoint. Okay. I aim to understand the truth behind situations that come my way as this helps me to respond with wisdom. I accumulate, calculate positive beliefs about myself, life, and others. Okay, true. You got to uh, understand what's going on. The truth of the matter. Face it head on. Positive beliefs about your life, yourself, and you say good good things to yourself. Build your own self up. You don't don't wait on nobody. Third chakra, solar plexus, personal power. I choose to be myself and to express my truth. I have a positive influence on the people and the situations around me. I allow my integrity and confidence to shine, which instills more confidence and belief in myself and then encourages others to have natural confidence in me. I do not allow my personal power to become egotistical, manipulative, and ex exploit exploitative. Okay? So yeah, um, express your truth. Like I said, you like both ways, tell the person. Be you, you know. Uh, take care of your health. You know, ask for forgiveness. Ask people to forgive you. You forgive others. Forgive yourself, number one. Because you all you got. It all bows down to. Have confidence in yourself. Okay? Believe in yourself. Okay, don't let nobody get you down, no matter what you've been through. Let people go who ain't supposed to be in your life, whether you love them or not. They're not good for you, and they're telling you to move on. Do that. Somebody else will appreciate you, even if it's family. Somebody else's family will appreciate you. Oh, man, I didn't know it had another card behind that burger. Hold on, let's see what that says. I did not see that. Sorry. Let's see, it says, um, the ship, travel and overseas connections can also mean affairs are moving rather than stagnant. So, been having, find out your partner been having affairs over you or something. But it's time to travel and get out that hermit mode, though. It sees uh, the ship. This lovely positive car usually heralds travel, especially if it falls directly on or beside the car representing the person being read for. Furthermore, the ship indicates important travel. Okay? And it could be short trips as well. Like I say, it's time to get out of that mode. Alright? Get out of that hermit mode. What is that? The mountain? Okay, let's see. It says, um... If, on the other hand, the ship falls near the other foreign card, the mountain, the suggestion is that your future may be strongly tied to living overseas, especially if the house is there, too. Okay. It's a road and... Okay, maybe it's time, like I said, move around from everybody. It's time to go. You know, another town, another another uh, city, another state, another country, another neighborhood. Start over. You know, build yourself up. All right, you can't be no good to anybody if you ain't good to yourself. All right, Bergy, I guess uh, you know what this about. <laughs> um, uh, like, subscribe, share, and comment, and um, I hope it helps in some type of way. All right, love you. This is your girl Ruth signing off. Okay, bye. Take care, okay? Bye-bye.